Hello everyone, Russ Elkins here with Clips of Tips. Today I want to correct two problems with this photo. The first problem I want to correct is related to the shoulders and I'd really like to go in and square up the shoulders of this photo. The second problem is the hair to camera left. Many times I will finish a photo and I'll walk away from it. It may be a day or two and I'll come back to it and go, wow, I didn't see that. And that's the case here. I used the techniques to do the black and white conversion that's in one of my master class tutorials. So if you haven't checked those out, please do so. But this hair is really bothering me here over here to the left. I wish all of the hair would have been tucked back behind the girl at the photo shoot. But, you know, when you get into doing things like high school seniors, and this was a high school senior shot of mine, you, you'll often miss things. I still do it, as I've sh I shoot a lot and I still do it. You can't see everything. Sometimes it's related to something in the background. Uh, uh, many times for me, it's things related to hair. I don't know why I try to catch you know, problems with hair, but this just didn't stick out with me at the time I was doing it. So sometimes it helps to have an assistant. But let's get started. We're gonna try to fix the, the issues here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is to replicate my background layer, and I'm going to do that by pressing Command-J. It's Control-J if you're on a PC. The next thing I want to do is, I think I'm going to try to fix the hair first, and I'm going to do that with the Clone Stamp tool. I'm going to start off with a very soft brush, and I get my size kind of, kind of big here. And we'll sample an area and just start taking out the hair along the edge there. And we'll go to the inside some as well. And again, I just go very slowly with this clone stamp tool. I don't try to do it all in one swipe. Um, and that's looking pretty good. What I want to do is to, to clean this up just a bit. I think I'm going to go back in and harden up the brush a little bit and make it a little smaller. We can zoom in. And go back to the clone stamp tool. And again, the idea is to give the feel that the hair is actually is actually flowing underneath the top or the blouse. So there we have it. Let's go back off and see how that looks. That looks pretty good. I could probably soften up my brush a little bit more. Come in here and bump some of this hair right back down. I don't like to have too hard a line there. see what that looks like. That's looking pretty good. So what I want to do now is I want to go back in and try to square up these shoulders. This shoulder slumped way down and this one seems like it's kind of jacked up some. So to do that I'm going to go into filter and use the liquify tool. Many times I will go through and use a selection with the liquify because it tends to speed it up but in this case we should be all right. What I'm going to do is to try to pull up this shoulder a little bit and make things a little more symmetrical. And again, it doesn't matter that I'm, I'm pulling the side of my canvas in. The underlying uh, part of the image is going to be covered up by a layer below this one. So.
So there we go. Um, again, the two things I did was is tuck the hair underneath the shirt. And on the other side, I actually changed the shoulders a little bit to square up the shoulders a little bit to the camera. So let's go take a look at our before and after. Um, that's our before image. And that's our after image. Much cleaner. Thanks for watching Clips of Tips.